Hey folks, Kel Kellogg here. For all you trout and kokanee trollers out there, I wanted to share something that I've been playing with. I've been having a lot of fun with it. What I've been doing, I've been making my own micro light flashers and I'm building them with components that I got from Max Lure. Let me show you what I'm using before I show you the flashers that I've created. They're just really cool, low drag. They attract fish. Um, it's just a lot of fun messing with them. Fishhuntshoot.com offers a variety of tackle as well as rods and reels designed to get you on more and bigger fish. Check it out today at fishhuntshoot.com. What I'm using is, first of all, I've got some 20 pound Yozuri top knot fluorocarbon leader material. I've got a box of Max Lure beads, a variety of sizes of beads in there. Doesn't say how many are in there, but there's a bunch. Check it out. There's a whole bunch of beads. These are green and orange mostly. And uh, the, the flashers I'm going to show you, I built specifically for rainbow trout. I, I have a lot of luck targeting rainbows with chrome and chartreuse colors. So I built a set of, of chrome and chartreuse flashers. So the beads. You'll also need some Eagle Claw bobber stops. These are the little rubber ones that are shaped like a football. They're all kind of rigged on a little button and you can slide them off on your line. And you'll need a package of Max Lure Smile Blades. And these are chrome. They come in all kinds of colors. They come in pink. They come in chartreuse. But uh, these are the chrome colored ones. And uh, Smile Blades. They're they don't look like much on land, but when you get them in the water, they spin with the with the absolute minimal amount of speed. They put off a ton of flash. They're extremely durable. So let's look at what I've created here. I'll just take you right down, right down from the uh, the end where you'd hook on a threaded worm or a or a spoon. I'd hook a spoon directly on this. I I've got 20 pound fluorocarbon Yozuri top knot line. On the business end there, I've got a, a, a small lock snap. No swivel there, just a lock snap. Now, if I was going to use a threaded worm, I'd put a little more leader on there with a hook on it, run the worm right there. But uh, I wouldn't hesitate to snap a spoon on right there. A Dick Knight, a Needlefish, XL, um, Crip Lure, whatever. Whatever you, whatever you like running, you can snap it on right there. Moving up, I've got three smile blades on here show you the whole thing look at that it uh, it's very simple it's just a bobber stop right there followed by three beads a larger one and two small ones and a smile blade same thing there I've replicated that three times and then up top I've got a bobber stop a large bead that's really just for decoration I just thought that was cool and a high quality swivel and when I put this on my rod I will snap a trolling swivel right to that to prevent any line twist I, I hate line twist um, with this this is something you can actually throw this out with a spinning rod I've done it it's super light has no drag those blades I mean watch you can just see those spin they're spinning in the breeze here Anyhow, I, I just, uh, I love that. I love tinkering with stuff, but I, I love that. That is just super light, super cheap. Build your own flashers. The fish can't see the fluorocarbon. Very subtle. You can run that right on the surface. You can run it off a downrigger, whatever you want. And of course, those bobber stops are on there, so you can move those up and down the line. You can move them up that way, move them down this way. Doesn't matter. Whatever works for you, whatever you want to try, it's... Uh, it's totally adjustable and uh, just a lot of fun to build. So grab yourself some components from Max Lure and uh, get some of those bobber stops. Those bobber stops, I use those for a lot of different things. You should have a few of those little buttons in your tackle box. I do. I think you get that little button for a buck ninety nine or something crazy like that. Now I got all these beads. I got these at Wheelfish Tackle in Auburn. You can see the price there, three ninety nine. You get a lot of beads for three ninety nine. Anyhow, get some components. If you've got some spare time, start playing with some stuff. You're going to come up with some stuff that you really have a lot of confidence in and that you're, you're going to catch a lot of fish using. I, I can't wait to try that out on French Meadows or Oxbow Reservoir or something like that. I don't even know what I'm going to put behind it. Well, I know I'm going to put a worm back there at some point because I just love trolling those dirty worms. Anyway, that's my micro light flashers that I built myself. You 
can do the same thing. It's just a fun project, and uh, there you go. Anyway, I'll see you out on the water, and I'll catch you here on YouTube the next time. I got some fishing tips or tackle tips, whatever. So this is Cal Kellogg signing off. Thanks for watching my channel, and uh, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I'm uh, trying to build as big of an audience as I possibly can. So anyway, once again, it's Kel Kellogg, Fish Sniffer Magazine Editor, signing off. I'll catch you next time. Thank you, folks.